Hey there! Do you have a drawer with clothes you need to fix? Pictures you want to frame or recipes you want to try? Or perhaps you haven't tried to be a morning person with no success or you want to start spending less time on social media? Well, a weekly challenge might be just what you need. The idea is to tackle the things that you have been postponing, all those quick tasks that you think you'll have time for later but you actually never get to do them. It can also be something fun, related to hobbies or entertainment, and also, and more importantly, to start really owning the habits that you have been struggling with. So I thought of dedicating a video to some weekly challenge ideas that might work for you or inspire you to come up with things of your own. These small boxes that I'm drawing here will contain the challenges and they can just be merged into your weekly spreads and as you saw I also added a powerful quote which can be a big incentive in tackling your tasks each day. I really like this in particular that says think big, trust yourself and make it happen. On each box you can make a circle for each day of the week or if you just want to do the challenge for five days you can also do that but I really like the idea of keeping busy throughout the whole week it really gives me something to do and feel productive every single day first and the least and the one challenge that I wanted to tackle first was becoming a morning person or an early bird. So I follow the advice of waking up earlier in increments of 15 minutes each day. And though it is a bit of a struggle, I have definitely pushed myself, forcing my eyes to open and my biological clock to change. The extra time in the morning is really well worth the effort. Next is the things that we leave for later, like sewing that button and getting to use your favorite shirt again. You can also rearrange your furniture for a feeling of new start. You can ready or update an emergency bag. That is a must. Clean and reuse candle or other jars. Throw away expired stuff from your cabinets. Order your finances, which everybody lives for later. Or maybe clean your phone of bad pictures or applications that you no longer use. Taking a break. After hours of working, taking a break will not only refresh your mind, but it can give you inspiration or new ideas. So take an hour to perhaps make a vision board. You can also learn something new. Maybe make a timeline of your life, that would be fun or start that DIY project that you have been wanting to try. Also, you can make an album with those pictures that you have been wanting to print, or even frame them and make a cool wall composition. Finally, you can just step outside. That can be maybe just staring out the window and contemplating nature, or taking some photographs. Self-care. Even when we don't practice it much, we all deserve it. So aim to tackle a different thing each day. You can start with a relaxing bath or shower, then prepare a homemade facial. Hair masks are so underrated, but you will be able to feel the difference. Of course, a mani-pedi has to be included, a routine of stretches, a day of detox, and a day to journal your thoughts. If you're at loss on what to write, you can look up questions for self-love or self-growth. You can answer them all as you go or take your time and go deeper into each question. Writing really helps us to understand our own feelings and to set our priorities straight. It also distracts us from everything that's going on around us and helps us to concentrate in finding which needs must be fulfilled for a well-being. Unplug. We all struggle with letting go of our phones. 
but I found that using that time to help others instead of satisfying our curiosity is a big incentive to stop staring at the screen so much. So think of all those you can help and get to it. You can send a postcard, maybe buy some veggies from a street vendor if they are really struggling. You can also call an elderly person just to listen to them or ask someone what type of help they need and get it done for them. Why not send flowers to someone just because to surprise them? Or maybe you can send a meal or transfer some money to someone in need. Whatever it is that you do, you will see that there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. My final idea is the most creative one. Get your bucket list stone from home. Do you want to go to India? Watch a documentary of the country. Try one of their recipes, listen to their music. Dress like them if you can, just get creative. You can also make a picnic in your balcony or garden. Do you want to swim with the whales? Learn about them. Make a drawing or some type of art. Listen to music featuring their sounds. A driving movie with friends would be awesome. You will need a projector in a big parking space, but it is still doable. Learn guitar, finally. Or you can go for a stroll through 3D Central Park on Google Maps and learn about its history. What about camping indoors? You can make a tent with sheets and cushions and of course, don't forget the s'mores. So, the sky is the limit. And as Louis Armstrong said, there's so little time and so much to do. So make each day count. At the end of the week, the feeling of success and satisfaction might make you realize that weekly challenges could be your new thing. So keep it down to earth and within your abilities. This is supposed to be a positive exercise that will show you that where there is a will, there is a way. As always, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to follow my bullet journal journey. And thanks a lot for watching.